Here are the tests on my 1973 Kohler Wellworth. I'm not entirely sure what the original flapper would have looked like and I don't have my blue one so I just used a corky flapper because that's what I had lying around and the water line is set in between the two lines on the top and bottom of the word water line so I'm not sure which line is supposed to be the water line and that's why I just put it between them so now let's give this thing a flush and see how it does on the tests This is the worst and weakest flush I've ever seen on one of these toilets. I have no idea what's wrong with it, but I don't think it has minerals in the rim because it looks pretty clean. And I did do a test off camera. I flushed this women's tank top down it and it passed, meaning there's nothing obstructing the trapway. So let's add some water to the bowl and then try a washcloth. Considering it passed that thing, I almost guarantee it'll pass the washcloth. So let's add a little more water and when the tank is done filling, I'll be back. All right, so that took long enough to fill up. Let's see if it'll take a washcloth. passed perfectly but in slow motion. Now let's add some water to the bowl and then try a grocery bag. And I didn't mention it before but the trapway is not glazed. I don't know if the older ones were glazed or if the newer ones were glazed. I think my 1976 Wellworth, despite being cheaper in general, I think they are actually fully glazed but this one isn't. So I'm going to pause the video and then try a grocery bag. It's back up to the water line, so now let's see if it'll take a grocery bag. And once again, considering it passed that, I'm pretty sure it'll take a bag. did great. Now let's see if it'll take them both together. I'm going to add some water to the bowl. I think my bag got a little tangled. So now let's wait for the tank to fill up, and then I'll test this. The tank is now full, so let's see if it'll take a washcloth and a grocery bag together. To be honest, I think it'll struggle, but it will pass. I'm not sure if I would consider that awesome or perfect. The water flow did stop as the mass was going through the trapway. 
I think that's pretty much normal for everything, but I'll, I'll leave that up to you to decide. So now, let's try a dish towel. But first I have to wait for this tank to fill up once again. Before I flush the dish towel, I'd like to show you the animal in there. There's an animal in here. Great. So now let's try a dish towel. I'll be legitimately surprised if it fails this. Also, I think that animal in there might be a frog. It passed it, but also it managed to be as slow as it possibly could. So, I mean, there's not really much of a problem with the flush being slow as long as it works, which clearly it does, as you saw by the tests. Actually, I'm not going to say that just yet because I haven't tried the dirt, and that could be the deciding factor of whether I hate this toilet or whether I love it. So, as you know, there was just a hurricane as you probably saw in the updates and the fences blown down and their shingles on the ground. So dirt's pretty wet, but let's see if it'll take it. This won't really be a good gauge of bull rinse because this is not really very much. It's more like mud rather than dirt. So let's just pause the video real quick and I'll be right back when the tank is full. The tank is full, so let's see how it'll do on dirt. And actually, before I flush this, I'm just going to block it off a little bit. And yeah, there's a urinal under there. I'm just going to block this so that the dirt is directed the other way. That's a bit disappointing, and also that idea of blocking the dirt didn't really work, because there are still all the cracks between the tile. But this could have definitely done better, but let's see how it did around the sides. It looks pretty good around the sides, but then again the dirt I used was nearly mud, so it didn't really stick. I honestly don't know how to judge it on this, except that it left a good bit in the bowl. Honestly, like I said before, this is definitely the worst of this type of Wellworth that I've ever seen. So, yeah, that's about it for the tests. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and turn on notifications. It helps my channel a lot, and I really appreciate it. Thanks for watching, and see you guys in the next video.